Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to create a database. Now, uh, we are heading towards uh, launching our own um, WordPress website, or there is another one. Uh, it called uh, there was another popular uh, blogging platform. I'm forgetting, but uh, for any active website, you need to have a database. Uh, we did create a um, static website we saw how to create one in s3 bucket we saw how to create one in uh, on ec2 instance but for any active site that uh, writes and retrieves from a database you have to create a, uh, a web server we already created that as well let me actually show you all of that. Uh, so let's go and videos, or maybe playlist was better, but let's see. So over here, we this is our web server. We created two videos, one here, one there. So uh, we, we will need this, and we will, uh, for the uh, WordPress, we definitely, you need to watch these two if you don't know how to uh, and for the uh, that uh, web hosting this was for the static web hosting in the bucket and uh, there was mm, maybe this no not this one uh, there was another one that we created and we uh, maybe this one yeah so we had this uh, yeah this one definitely with the static uh, web server so you get the idea you have you need to go through all these videos before you can attempt because uh, you will need some of that knowledge <clears throat> for the database we're gonna go and click in the services and it's right here under the database it's rds and you need to click on this one dynamodb is uh, no sql database and we're gonna we need the sql one so while it's loading oh okay so we're gonna click and just uh create a database amazon own is a uh, database is called aurora if uh, somebody asks you what's aurora you need to know and you can see it's already pushing it standard create or easy create you have two options there are six databases to choose from um I always go with mysql it's free microsoft sql uh, you have to pay oracle definitely <clears throat> the other one is there was a compatibility amazon aurora with postgres this is an open source as well you can see provision or serverless so on different you get different uh, uh, <clears throat> like options for example when uh, uh, I had clicked on Aurora there was no free tier but over here with my sequel you have a free tier available so it's really up to you which one you want to click on there is very important things that you need to know uh, before attempting to create this database because um, you have to create if, if uh, especially for WordPress uh, I want to show you something right here so if we create a database just as it as it is it's gonna cost us eight over eight hundred dollars a month so we want to make sure that we we can you know customize it to the best now for the database name we can put my name in here Imran or the username let's go with Imran again for the master password let's put any password <clears throat> and standard classes memory optimized class burstable so let's go with burstable and t3 micro so that's the smallest we have and standard classes if we go standard then do we have it mi micro no so basically it starts at 8 gb large and we go with first of all we have 1 gb so this should cost us the minimum let's check out and yeah it still is going to be over 300 dollars 
Uh, so let's see. <clears throat> MySQL, the version, does version makes a difference? Hit the very bottom. Nope, version does not make a difference. So we can, I believe it was eight something. So we can go with that. Production developer test. Uh, so ah, this one. So we can click on general purposes. IEOps is the, uh, this setting basically is for high read write. So if we general purpose, yeah, yeah. You see the day and night difference. Now it's about 30 bucks. I'm still not gonna create this one. I'm gonna switch to free tier. I'm just um, playing around with the different settings. DP instance identifier and allocated storage you can you know play with that storage the <coughs> we're gonna launch it into our default vpc uh, the reason is that <coughs> uh, that is the one that's tied to our security group the other one i made just for learning how to create vpc and the subnet group default choose existing vpc security group on existing security group if you remember if you're following uh, we launched our instances in launch wizard 2 and that's where our what uh, it's going in both of them okay so uh, basically that's where our port 80 is open if you remember and password authentication yes and there was additional configuration uh, DT, uh, the database uh, ports are uh, is 3306 I must say additional configuration this is the most important line if we do not specify a database name it will not create a database meaning WordPress will not be able to write its file you know if uh, if you have ever installed WordPress uh, initially it does write files so you have to give it a name I'm gonna again put my name in there so backup so if anything you want to take out of this uh, video uh, you need to define this name here for your WordPress to be successful <coughs> alright so it's still 30 bucks let's go and click on free here there we go now <coughs> we don't have to uh, concern ourselves what happens everything stays the same but uh, we just want to make sure that we have a name here and automatic backs up backs up or etc we don't have to worry about anything and you're gonna just create this database obviously it's for educational purposes you are for uh, uh, production environment you should consider uh, the other instances where you are actually paying for those services uh, the good thing is you can pay for like uh, uh, one or three year so you can get up to 50% or more discount so uh, look into it I'm gonna pause this video here because the status is creating I want it to be green uh, so running available whatever I'm gonna pause this video here all right, so it just turned green available. We are good to go. Uh, that's how you create a database. If I click on here, <coughs> it should show you <coughs> uh, different setting. That's the endpoint. This is the important thing for WPS. We need this, and uh, we can see it's dude. It's in our default vpc and the security group is this one if we click on that and security group and you can see it's http ad open all right so we have the link there now <clears throat> now we need to open the uh there's one last thing that we need to do that is to 
open the port if you remember uh, just a few minutes ago we I showed you the port 3306 so go back in there <coughs> again in here uh, in bound rules add it and you're gonna add a rule this is not custom TCP we, you, you, you can do custom but you know what this there is actually MySQL and you can see right, right off the bat it's uh, 3306 you can put it as custom or anyone anywhere so let's go with mm, custom and in the <clears throat> so who do you want it to give access to if you put it just these it means you are giving access to the world we actually want the access to be oh, sorry here we want uh, it to have access through launch wizard 2 only <clears throat> our launch wizard 2 that's where the um, uh, the ec2 instances are and who is going to write into this database one of our wp server that is in uh, launch wizard 2 security group so that's it save rule and now we're done up to this point we're done the next video when we, we are going to install wordpress if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe and share and I see you in the next one.